Good morning, it's Thursday the 30th of September. Libraries are important places in our communities. Sarah is a regular visitor to our local library. At the moment, the books on loan include A Guide to the Inner Hebrides of Scotland and a vegan cookery book. Over the summer, she borrowed a couple of listening books that she enjoyed while we were travelling around on our holiday. Our favourite was the book by Richard Osman called The Thursday Murder Club, which we really enjoyed. But imagine if there was a library where rather than borrowing books, you borrowed people. The Human Library is a project that began in Denmark around 20 years ago. The idea is that you borrow a person and listen to their story for about 30 minutes. The aim of the project is to fight prejudice. Each person has a title. Unemployed, refugee, bipolar, etc. But by listening to their story, you realise that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. You get an insight into their lives and are reminded how, we sh how often we label people in particular ways without really taking into account the whole person. The project is now active in over 50 countries and has many volunteers who are keen to tell their story and enter into conversation with people. I did find myself wondering, what word would I use for my story? Would it be Christian or minister? Would it be runner or husband, environmentalist or father, questioner or listener? What would your word be if you were to tell your story? And what would surprise people if they heard it? If we're honest, we can all make assumptions about people. We imagine that we know all about somebody because of how they look or the accent that they speak with. We can treat people differently depending on their working status or the people that they're related to. Even people's health or wealth can make us consider them in certain ways. We're currently running some training in our churches on unconscious bias, recognising that all of us will, in different ways, make decisions about others even when we're not aware of it. We like to think we know all about people, without always taking the time to find out what their story really is. The strap line of the Human Library Project is unjudge someone. In other words, take time to see someone differently and prepare to let go of your first impressions. Be prepared to take the time to get behind the labels that we so easily attach to people. In the book of Samuel, we hear about a new king being chosen. Samuel goes through a whole series of the sons of Jesse, starting with the oldest and seeking God's wisdom on who should be chosen. Eventually, we get to the youngest and therefore least important of the brothers, a young shepherd called David. Despite being of little value in the world's eyes, he's the one who God chose. And the Bible says to us in 1 Samuel 16, verse 7, The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at outward appearances, but the Lord looks at the heart. Can we, can we be open to the challenge to do the same? Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you that you're a God who sees the best in us and wants the best for us that you place value on each of our lives and love us unconditionally. Help us also to see the best in others, to take time to get to know people's stories and what's really going on in their lives. As our lives tell a story, may it be one of love and acceptance. Amen. <laughs>